Uh, Wexler did well this year, the big Kilkenny. That must have been particularly sweet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I met a few Kilkenny people tonight to throw a coat at me there before I came over. <laughs> they actually held me down and put it on me, so I had no choice. Um, listen, it was great. I, I, I so enjoyed it. it um, like, Wexford hadn't beaten Kilkenny in a long time, and that night below in Wexford Park was... I will never forget the emotion. It, it, it's right up there in my few top moments of sport. The people of Wexford, they just... They went mad and... It was great to see. I love seeing emotion in sport, right? Like when you, when you do something you're not meant to do. Do we know what's coming next year? I do. Do I know what Brian Cody's going to be planning? I do. But you know what? I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to watch it from the stand because you were a bold boy. Yeah. Explain yourself, young man. Um, yeah, I had a small misdemeanor during the year. Um, I went onto the field when I shouldn't have. And, uh, but you know what? It was quite good. I enjoyed watching it up there. So <laughs> You can imagine the box like I wasn't at all trying to get out of the box and go, but um, it, it was different. Like when you're down the sideline, like you're nearly living the game with them mm -hmm. above there. I, I found it way different. You sit back, you watch what the formations are like, what the moves are like. It, it's actually probably from a managerial side of things, it's better up there without a shadow of a doubt. So you look forward to get banned in the future so you can sit in the stands, is that what you're saying? All the tinted windows on the box. Uh, I think daily. I better um, yeah. try and avoid that if I can, yeah. yeah.